Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today's record is The Incredible Hawk, Blind Alley, from 1978. So let's get started. It began in a railroad station in the Midwest. David Banner, man on the run, and Margaret Lamb, a young girl seeking a cure for her mysterious ailment. How long have you been on the crutches? Almost a year now. You're doing very well. Thanks. Where is the sanitarium you're going to? Tally Falls, about 200 miles upstate. You've been there before? No. I only heard about it a little while ago. It's run by a Dr. Charles, Timothy Charles. He's really great, they say. Really. He can cure just about anything. A faith healer? Oh, no. Nothing like that. He's a real doctor. He uses some kind of new ray. Ray? A radiation machine. Like x-rays, only different. It's called a mason ray. Mason ray? Yes. You've heard about it? Uh, no, not exactly. Not as a cure for anything or as a ray. But I know something about masons. They're like x-rays, right? Well, yes and no. Masons hardly exist, or exist only for a short time in a cyclotron. I never heard of a mason ray, but that's what this Dr. Charles uses? Yes. They say he can cure almost anything. Cancer, arthritis, anything. Look, here's some literature on it. Testimonials? Isn't it marvelous? Yes. Yes. Isn't it? Did you have a treatment today, Mr. Benson? Uh, yes. Uh, and you, Maggie? 
That machine is really weird, isn't it? I'd say that. But I feel so much better already. I know it will work. I just know it. Uh, Maggie, sometimes we can let hope run too far ahead of us. I'll be walking again soon. Dr. Charles thinks so. And his nurse, Cora Howard, says she's seen cases like mine that cleared up within weeks. Just weeks. You really believe, don't you, Maggie? I know this is the place, Mr. Benson. I just know it this time. I can feel it. Realizing that the pills Charles has given him are drugs designed to keep his mind and senses dulled, David Banner puts them aside and spends his nights thinking, thinking of Maggie Lamb and her hopes of walking, thinking of the other patients and their dreams of a cure, and his own. Rising from his bed, he makes his way down the stairs to Timothy Charles' laboratory, determined to get at the truth of the Mason Ray machine. Approaching the laboratory, Banner hears voices. He listens closely. What about Magari? He says he can't afford much more. One more treatment, then out. Right. This Benson, he concerns me. I'm not sure of his ability to pay. Just as well. He's a snoop anyway. One more dose of the old razzmatazz and he's cured. <laughs> Keep talking, Cora. I think we've got company. Amazing how that machine cures people. There's Maggie Lamb. We've got a good one there. Oh? The family's loaded. They sent her every place. Money's no object. <laughs> it is for us. What do you think's wrong with her anyway? How should I know? I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Benson. Dr. Benson. I might have suspected. <laughs> Come in, Dr. Benson. Come in and sit down. Cora and I were having tea. Would you like some tea? Why not? Some tea for Dr. Benson, Cora. Coming up. And what diagnosis have you arrived at tonight, Dr. Benson? The Mason ray machine, for one. Oh, and what conclusions have you come to? That it's a simple ultraviolet ray machine, which can be dangerous in itself. True. <laughs> Any kind of radiation in large quantities can be dangerous. And that it's combined with diathermy, a lot of phony lighting effects and crazy sounds. In short, you're calling me a quack. <laughs> exactly. Here's your tea. Thanks. Tell me, Dr. Benson, are you from the Ethical Practices Committee? No, I... I actually came here out of hope. To cure your depression? Yes. And what do I find? Just another charlatan, bilking unsuspecting people out of their life savings, offering them hope and giving them nothing. And I suspect you intend to go to the Ethical Practices Committee. I'll see to it that they... The what? Uh, what, what, what did you put in that, that tea? A rather strong sentiment, Benson. But it won't last long. Don't worry about it. I... I can't... Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. Help me get him on the table, Cora. He's heavier than he looks. What's going on? Use the restraining straps. Tie him down. Tight. He won't get out. Charles, Charles, what, what are you doing? We're giving you another treatment, Dr. Benson. Your very last. After that, you'll be cured. <laughs> Charles, let me up. Ah, uh, Dr. Benson, you're awake? What are you doing? As you said before, ultraviolet radiation can be dangerous in large doses. It can burn a man to a crisp, can't it? You're not <laughs> going to. This will be your last treatment, Dr. Benson. <laughs> your very last. After this, you'll never feel pain again. Any kind of pain. <laughs> you're insane. George, you burn me alive. It will be recorded as an unfortunate accident. Cora, five degrees more. The UV intensity? And the heat intensity. Charles, don't. Why not? <sighs> Dr. Benson, all in the cause of science. <laughs> <laughs>
So that was the Incredible Hawk, Blind Alley for 1978. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. And we'll have another video coming out real soon. Now this is the front of the of the box you always see the cover. Now this is the back that you never see. So please have a group. So have a groovy day and. Our next record is gonna be Six Man Dower Man. There we go. Yep, this will be our next superhero.